Yo, what's up? I'm in Orlando for a soccer invitational for Brookie. It's really cool. Colleges come from all over and check out the kids and just uh, it's a fun experience, real fun of experience. And, you know, you'll have one game a day and then you got to figure out the rest of your day. And the other day we went to SeaWorld. Not my favorite place. One, I don't like amusement parks. I'm not into roller coasters. My kids love them. Uh, but I go to let them have the experience. But with that, you're, you're walking in these uh, aquarium tanks that I used to feel they were cool when I was younger. And you see these sharks and stuff. And I start feeling bad for them because they're not in their natural environment. They're entrapped. They're entrapped. And then you see uh, the orca show. They call them the killer whales. That are trained. Freaking trained. The guy slaps a stick in the water and this 8,000 pound whale, killer orca whale, comes and does a backflip. And then he comes and swims up on the shelf where this guy's standing in his little leather suit, his uh, whatever they call that damn thing. And he throws some fish in his mouth. And then he shoes them off. Go to the left, boy. And then they slap the water again, and the guy comes and does a flip out of the middle of the water. And my 11-year-old daughter says, Dad, look at their dorsal fin. It's curled. It's not straight up. And then they showed videos of these orca out in the wild, swimming free in their environment. And their dorsal fin was straight up. They say it's about six feet, this thing. It tells you how massive these things are. And Jamie goes, Dad, notice these guys, their dorsal fin, and it was all bent and curled under. And I want to say there was a documentary, which I think got taken off Netflix, called Blacklist. And they talked about these animals are under so much stress and distress, they show it through the dorsal fin. And it's so idiots like us could go buy a ticket and sit in there and watch this thing act like a clown and splash people and get wet and do flips. That we could feel good for 20 minutes, a 20 minute show. So this damn thing is locked up in a giant pool away from his natural habitat. Now, they show a video and here's the brainwashing on the thousands of animals they're saving, which I think is awesome. And if you tell me these orcas were not going to survive in their natural environment and they were sickly, and the only way they could survive is in this environment, game on. Thank you. And they had awesome videos of uh, birds and freaking seahorses or wolves, sea wolves that were injured and they brought them in, nurtured them, helped them heal, but then released them release the turtles back to their natural environment. Well, why aren't we doing it with these guys? Why, so a families could pile in and sit there for 20 minutes and watch this 8,000 thing, get told what to do so he could get fed some fish. Listen, it sounds familiar. Sounds like what they're doing to humans now. I'll give you this if you just listen to me. And if I point my finger to the right, you go to the right. If I point it to the left, you go point it to the left. And you can come over and we'll feed you and we'll give you a little bit of money here and there. And we'll take the edge off and keep you happy, you little bitches. Listen. Freedom. Choice. Life. It's yours. Teach your kids about it. Tell them to stay out from somebody's thumb. And tell them not to become a killer whale that becomes a soft little bitch in the water getting fed on the edge. If I slap my hand, you come up, good little boy, and I'm gonna give you fish. Now swim off, and who knows what they're doing to these things to get them to learn how to do that, because I don't know how the hell they train these things the way they do. But it is really a way to look at life and how we're raising our kids, which is most important. And it was cool that my kids were able to see it and go, there's something not right about this. And if you're gonna watch a YouTube video, I'll post couple shots of videos and stuff for the experience and I hope you have a blessed day.